What up guys, One Foot Blue High here and today, today, it's more like tonight, late at night, I am back to do a road opening spell for you guys. I'm doing this actually on the full moon of Cancer. It was a good time to do this because I've been experiencing blockages and creativity especially. I've been feeling kind of bogged down and not as creative as I normally would be. I mean, I think some of you guys could probably tell within lack of content and consistently updating that I either one didn't have time, I was in a creative slump that was uh, causing me to be not as consistent as with what I would like. I'm going to perform some road opening work for creativity blockages and also health, which who doesn't deserve some good health and to be able to push themselves forward so they can have their best body and vibrate as high as they can within their vessel while they still have it in this lifetime. And of course, I am a Capricorn and I always feel like money flow is an issue. So I'm going to have three different candles for creativity, health, and money. So I need all those roads to open for me and to bring in the success for the upcoming year that I would like to have in my life. Okay, so before I get started, I'm going to make clear that obviously full moon is a good time to do any spell work. Just be aware of that, but I also feel like planetary alignments and what the signs are in as of when that is happening on that full moon can sometimes make or break the energy that you're working with. So you can perform different spells to correlate with that energy and boost it and make it that much stronger so at this time since it is capricorn season and we're driven to always do better make ourselves better make our lives overall better so we can basically make everyone else's life better that we know we work harder to splurge it on everybody that we love pretty much even though it looks selfish at the time but don't get the wrong idea i felt like the cancer moon complements capricorn season right now and on, it is a Tuesday, it's Mars that uh, rolls over Tuesday. And Mars is very much a go-getter and stubborn and very persistent. So I felt like those energies all went together hand in hand to make this massive shift, to make everything fall into place and so I can keep going. You can perform this working on a new moon, which signifies a fresh start. So you can start over and anything that was dragging you down can be pushed out of the way and you can continue to reap the reward and success that you've been lacking in your life. Okay, the good stuff. I'm using the Sun God incense and I am working with Ganesh so I figure that would correlate well with him. We'll need crystals that will help open the roads, remove blockages, and heighten all the things that you were trying to get along the way. Three bay leaves, you'll need ginger, marigolds, orange peel, basil, and wormwood, and also a yellow candle, an orange candle, and a green candle. And I have a glass of wine that is just there to help me relax, it's not necessary, but I do like to have a glass of wine or beer if I am doing working, nothing too heavy, just something to help you settle and relax and get into that mind state. And you will need some road opening oil and some crown of success oil. You do not necessarily have to use all the exact same things. You can swap the candles out for all one color and you do not need all the crystals. And you can use different incense like frankincense and myrrh or the universal dragon's blood will help with just about anything. All right, so First off, before I did anything else, I engraved my candles. My green candle stands for bringing money into my life, opening up the roads to financial stability. So any opportunities that allow that, I am trying to open new ways, new roads and opportunities for that. So I engraved it for money with my birth date and I put money symbols down the side and I also put a pinnacle on the bottom of each one of these candles. The orange one represents creativity because I'm lacking in my creative abilities right now so bad. So I wrote creativity on the side of that, birth date, full name. Each candle is the same thing except I engrave what that candle stands for. 
and the yellow one is for good health. And now I'm going to dress them towards me because this working has been performed for me, by me. So I'm trying to signify that I want to bring this into my life and nobody else's. Here I am dressing my green candle with the wormwood. Eventually all three of them are going to be dressed with wormwood. I am using the warm word to actually represent health in this working. A lot of people do not know that it is actually very good to represent health as a metaphysical property. I chose each herb and spice to represent one specific thing for each candle because one is money, one is creativity, and one is for good health. But they are all going to get dressed with the same herbs and spices and whatnot because these all work together as a whole within your life. They all have to have some sort of balance and harmony in order to actually function and work together. Next up was the basil and I enchanted that to bring in money. And now I'm going to enchant the orange peel for creativity. I used marigolds in this working to represent luck and also it is a direct link with Ganesh. I am working with him in this spell, so that is why I use that. Don't worry about having your candles be completely perfect. Not everything is going to completely stick to them. I do like to add whatever is left on the plate, kind of like in the candle holder area, but that is just me. I know I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, but you guys will need something to write with, either like some sort of pen or Sharpie, because you do need to write on the three bay leaves that you have. Mine's is going to say money, creativity, or creative, creative creativity, whichever way you choose to write that out. And then the last one's gonna say health. And last, I like to put the ginger on top because ginger is a fast acting spice and it'll help bring these things into fruition a lot faster. So I like to add it last to give it that kickstart, that oomph that it needs to get things into motion. As I light each candle, which right now I am lighting the money candle, I like to address it as I open the roads for new opportunities to bring money into my life. And then I will go about it in that same way. So the orange one, I will be saying, I open the roads to bring in new creative opportunities into my life. And then lastly, I light the yellow candle for health. I open the roads to have good health brought into my life. Okay, bay leaf burning time. So this is the time where I would light each bay leaf to match accordingly to each candle that I engraved. So I am now burning the money bay leaf by using the money candle's flame, and I have placed it into my cauldron, and I am saying positive affirmations of, I have many opportunities to make lots of money, and I'm gonna go on and so forth just like that with each bay leaf that matches with the correlating candle to do so. For creativity I said I have many creative outlets in my life. As you burn these bay leaves you really want to meditate and envision all these new roads and outlets opening up for you. You need to see it. Lastly is the health candle, and I chose to say, I am in good health, I am fit, I am strong. Now that I've sent those messages out and I feel 
that I am sound in that I gathered my crystals and now is the time that I will actually start to chant my incantation. Roads untraveled, roads that are overgrown. With each stride I take, new opportunities will be shown. And of course, you can chant that incantation however many times you wish and meditate upon your candles and make sure that all that energy is put into your working. Do not slough on yourself. Make sure you have follow through with your spell work in real life, guys. That's what's gonna make or break everything that you do. And by the time you are finished, your working will look somewhat like this. If you do not have every crystal or stone that I show you guys, do not worry about it. You actually do not need any of them if you not have them, but I like to use crystals to add extra energy to my workings. Alright guys, so that's how you do the road opening spell. And of course, if you guys have any more questions that I did not address in this video, then feel free to leave them in the comments below and or email me at onefitbruja at outlook.com and I will be glad to answer any questions that you may have there. And I'll be posting this on Instagram in Pagan and Witches Amino. I usually do a way longer description on Pagan and Witches Amino because I try to make it as educational as possible, especially for people who are just starting out. So I go into extreme detail on that amino. So if you guys do not have that amino, then I highly suggest getting that amino. There are many, many people from different paths on there that you can learn from. I'm not sponsored by them, but I, I think it is very educational and it's very useful, especially if you are just starting out and you do not really know what to do and you don't really know, you know, who to trust and if you want to read good books and whatnot then there's always people on there suggesting good reads but anyways i can ramble about that for a hot minute so i'm gonna stop myself then and there i am obviously going to meditate over this a lot longer and these candles are probably going to take a minute to burn out i will probably be, be up until I have to go to work. I'm hoping I'm not. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I'm going to place a lot more energy into this. I let them burn all the way out. And I do not like leaving my candles unguarded, so I am going to stay awake and watch them burn. And if not, try to be next to them if I happen to, to pass out. I want to be able to see them so the animals don't knock them over. And like little Miss Curiosity Cat over there who was about to burn her whiskers off during this working. I signified each candle a certain color for a reason. Green is for money, orange is for creativity, and the yellow is for good health. Now, if you do not have any colors on hand and you wanna use all white or all black, then do it, they are versatile. It does not matter to have these colors this way. I chose to do it as a visual aid and I correlate U.S. money, since I live in the U.S., as green, and creativity is orange as far as your chakra goes. Your chakra goes, and that's where your creativity is going to stir up, and your creative passions are going to be that orange color. So I chose to use that orange to represent creativity. And health, to me, always revolves in the gut area. So that correlates with yellow for me, or stubborn fat loss in that sense. And I want to be healthier, feel better, and, you know, be stronger, fitter in this next year to come than what I am right now. So I want to open up new roads for all these things. And I also picked out herbs and our flower spices, whatnot, to correlate to each one of those subjects. Also made sure that a lot of their properties were versatile so I could address them onto each candle, but ideally all these candles are operating as one whole unit so you can dress each candle with the same herbs, spices, flowers, whatever, and it should work just fine. That is just my opinion though. Some other people may beg, may beg to differ in that sense. That's what I feel works best for me. You can have a filter candle, obviously, if you'd like, but I do not feel the need to have one. I have become pretty good at projecting my own energy field and or wearing protective jewelries and 
whatnot when I do my workings. And you do not need all these crystals or any crystals to empower this, but I feel that stones and anything from the earth emits an energy to help push out the energies that you are trying to address the divine with. Like, hey, I need these, so I feel like the crystals and whatnot will charge my working that, that much more. So I made sure that the properties of these crystals also correlate with each candle properly so I can bring those aspects into my life and open up those roads to push all those things into my life. My Crown of Success oil, I did not post a video about this oil and I wanted to as soon as I ran out of it because I adore this oil. This oil is good for anything, you can put it on your skin, unlike the other one that has sulfur in it that is a little, a little meh to put on your skin. I mean a little is not gonna, you know, kill you or anything but some people are sensitive to have that stuff on their skin. So I'd be careful about that, and if not, wear gloves if you're using that oil. If you happen to make that oil, which I do have on my channel for the road opening oil right here. And I used both those oils to boost this working. As you noticed, I didn't really use that many herbs and or spices in this because these two anointing oils that I have, they already have enough. These are powerful enough to just use by themselves your girl is kind of like an extra and she wants to make sure that she's going to get the most bang out of her spell work so of course i'm going to add a few more things in there i hope you guys enjoyed the star of the show who almost burnt her little face her name is zola by the way <laughs> this is actually i think her first time actually watching me perform on her magic so she was so curious to be over here she was a bit young, as you can tell, in a little tiny face. And I haven't forgot about what I said in my last video about posting coffee magic and whatnot. And I do have videos lined up and written down. I just need to accumulate some time, take some time aside, and actually get my shit together and dish those videos out. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I hope you guys enjoy the spell and try it out sometime. And until next time, I will see all your lovely little brujitas later.